go to DeCounty College of Morris for the Morris County semifinals. And second seeder Jefferson jumps out to the 6 0 lead here as Julian Merlinski hits the three. And the Falcons have the early lead over number two Morristown. And Jefferson would take an 8 6 lead after one quarter while Taylor Langan go baseline and she throws the foul. And the Falcons have a two point lead over the Colonials. We go to second quarter action and the Falcons deliver the third trade of the game here while Gasly Hutchinson knocks it down and Jefferson's up by 5 12 7. Then with just over two and a half minutes to go in the quarter, it's Colgate bound Abby Schubiger with a terrific move here off the miss and the Colonial trail 14-9. All right, big play here at the end of the second quarter. Watch the Colonials get it from Nicole Ferrara and the freshman cans a three to cut Jefferson's lead to 16-12 at the half. Big basket there. All right, third quarter action we go and it's Kim Galloway with a terrific outlet to Abby Schubiger and the senior gets the hoop and the harm and it's a two point game, 1917 Jefferson. Jefferson increases his lead to four here while Gashley Hutchinson with a long two and it's 21 17 Falcons with 442 to go in the quarter. The Morristown answers here while Kayla Bush get the hoop and the harm and the Colonial trail by three, 22 19. And Morristown ends its good third quarter on a high note while Gabby Schubiger with the jumper and Morristown cuts Jefferson lead to just one. 24-23 as we head to the fourth quarter. All right, fourth quarter action. Abby Schubert begins to take over. Watch her make the steal, and she lays it in, and Morristown has its first lead of the game, 25-24, just 25 seconds into the quarter. The Colonials are in the middle of an 8-0 run, bridging the third and fourth quarters, and it's Kim Calloway going glass for two, and it's 27-24 Morristown, forcing a Jefferson timeout with 5.29 to go. Jefferson looks to answer here out of the timeout, but watch Abby Schubiger with the big block here to help protect the Colonials' lead. And watch Kelly Squire with the entry pass to Julie Merlinski for two, and Jefferson trails by three, 29-26, midway through the quarter. Kim Calloway came up with some huge free throws for the Colonials, and she buries one here to make it 33-26, doors down with a minute and a half to go. And a big basket here as Abby Schubert works the offensive glass and sticks the put back as the Colonials would hold on to top Jefferson 37-34 to advance to the Morris County Finals for the first time since 2002 where we'll play top seeded Morris Cafe at 7 p.m. at CCM. We knew coming into the game how good of a team they were and how well they played together and they were a very fast team, very good defensive team, so we know we were going to have a run for our money. You guys got off to a good start. Talk about that. Um... Well, we knew that we wanted to make a presence in the game, so starting off fast, starting off strong was the way to go. And just talk about getting here. You had a crazy win over Mendham last week. Just your thoughts to this run to the semis, first time since 2012. It was definitely an uphill battle because everyone really underestimates us because we play mostly Sussex County teams. Or like Morris County teams are a lot better than Sussex County teams, so they didn't really know where we would stand. Speaking of which, you guys are going to be in the state tournament. That will be coming up in a couple of weeks. You guys are the two seed, high points of one seed. Your thoughts about possibly getting a chance to see them a third time? Uh, we still got a couple games to play before we see them, but I really hope to see them in the sectional finals. Despite the loss tonight, you guys are primed to make a run, you think, in states. You were a big part of it when you were a freshman, when you guys went to the state final. Knowing that my freshman year we didn't even make it this far in counties, I have really high hopes for this team in the states.